link 215 here. Let's talk battle rap. Oh, we got one. Oh, it's gonna take over the summer, man. We got Pusha T versus Drizzy Drake, round one. Let's talk about it. Okay, but I know Pusha dropped this album. It was really good. Seven tracks. Daytona. Solid. I fucks with it. I will be living with it for a while. But we here to talk about the infrared track. Versus Duppy Freestyle. Who got the first round? I mean, who who, who proved their point more? Now, no, let's talk about the Pusha first, man. Um, it, it goes in hard already. Talk about, you know, the lyrics. Uh, talk about like the hooks did it, the lyrics written, like connected it to the Trump, like how Donald Trump, like how Donald Trump winning, and Donald Trump won because of the Russians, like outside help. I'm gonna say outside the help of how you're supposed to win, and connected to with Drizzy, you know, because it was it was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin. Other words, you you supposed to win a certain way, but you got outside help. Outside help to, to get you to get the position you at now, just like Trump. That was that was that was hard as shit, man. Um, of course, he he did the whole. Uh, he believed in the Coles and Kendricks because that's who people always put in the same list. We talk about the five MCs of of their generation. They always mixed in the top five. Normally one, two, and three for most people. So saying he believed in them, that's that's coming to slide at Drizzy as well. Well played. Um, the baby stuff, that's not about Drizzy, so that's about baby, so that's nice, but that's a nice line in general, you know, now it's cool to come my baby, that like I killed the baby, connect that to the Ross, connect that to the Wayne, you know what I mean, Ross said was pro, then he's not look at Wayne on tour, but that's just a line in general, nothing to do with Drake, hotline, um, how can you write my wrongs if you don't write your songs, like, how can you write, when I, even if I did something wrong, how can you quote on that? Well, you don't even write your song. So how you gonna come at me for some shit that you... You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't work. Basically saying, um... I'm too solidified for you to ever truly try to poke holes. Because what you did is more egregious than what you trying to say I did. That, that was nice. Uh, that's basically everything. Uh, directly at Drizzy. The track itself was nice. Um, lines inside of lines. Bars inside of bars. It was good. Now, let's see what Drake had to do with his response. Uh, he responds quickly... Um, the issue is this is a Kanye this plus a push of this, but let's let's see what he's talking about push. Like, let's see what we talk about there. So it's Drake's turn to respond. He says the top five line, like you're not even top five of your 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 talent, your talent label at your label. Now I don't know about y'all, I just don't believe that shit. Now some people might, of course they might put Kanye number one. I'm guessing they might put Cuddy at two or Sean at three. I I'm cool. I I like push. Push my shit, so I'm gonna. I always gonna put push that too. I just prefer push style. So it didn't hit, but I get what he's trying to do. He's trying to lower his stock to people saying, "Look, man, this guy is not even the top five of his crew. So why do y'all feel like he can compete with me? Maybe because you respond to him. It's probably why we think he can. Uh, but um, let's go on. He has some some um, nice shit here too. He said, uh, "Your brother, uh, your brother said it was your cousin helmed in you." So you rap about like so you rap about the shit that you knew, not the shit that you did. Um, that was hot. That was hot. Um, don't know if that holds weight, but it was a really well played line. You know, saying somebody's a part of a drug family, and hey man, your your cousin did a lot of the shit. Your brother did a lot of shit. You did the, you did some of the shit. So you know whatever. Okay, the cops came in there. They wouldn't have been like, nah, push you. You just know what happened. We're gonna let you slide. Now the nigga getting all them years too, just like them two other motherfuckers. But um, I think it was a good line though. It was well played. And he continued with that. We said, you ain't got no malice in your heart. You're approachable, dude. That shit just hard as shit. You can't deny that. That, that was a good line. No malice in your heart, brother. Malice. He changed his name to no malice. And it's no malice. So your new brother, like not old malice. Because if you have malice in your heart, you do some shit. You have no malice in your heart. So you're approachable. Like, because your brother's a personal guy now because he... Gave himself to God, so that was crazy. 
That was crazy. The quitting line, the quitting working doubles and all that. Uh, quitting had nothing to do with this, man. Like, I don't know why you frying that, man. That, that wasn't cool. Uh, but try to put yourself as a nicer guy. Um, but that line had nothing to really do with um, with actual Pusher. But I guess it is a response because Pusher said that the quitting line in the beginning and the whole Meek situation. So I guess that's trying to dead the, the next quitting lines he might get in um, in round two. The ABC bar was just, um, that was Baby Lotion Soft. We're going to keep that real. Uh, make this easy as ABCs. You might as well just say one, two, threes. And Mike Jack with his five brothers who, you know, you should just win, keep going at least or something. But ABCs, um, no, kick rocks with that. Baby Lotion Soft all day. Uh, we got, um, my hooks did it. My lyrics did it. Uh, solid. It's not a crazy line, but at least it's a, some form of response to the first bar that Pusha said when he, Said it from the rep, like you know, um, your hooks, hooks did it. The lyrics penance, uh, led to the Trumps winning, so that was a nice, at least a knowledge of like, nah, that's not the case. I'm just that talented. I did this shit. It's nothing like what you're trying to say with the quitting thing. So that, that was smart. Uh, I let a ring on you, uh, like Vanessa Williams, I guess. Salad, it's fiance, it works, it goes together, it feels personal. But I'm going too personal, so it works. Good reaction. Uh, what he said? Um, I should never get you no time because you're older than the nigga that you're running behind. That's not crazy, but that's crazy. It's simple enough, and it makes sense. And how like the beat was, like the softness of the beat, how it just went with it. It was crazy because it's like, why am I paying attention to you? When you're 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 like forty one and you're following the guy that's younger than you and Kanye, you know Kanye is arguably top five artists of all time. But I get what he's trying to say. It's what he but you did respond so in the gate step, but still I, I think it's I think it was a witty line. Of course said the crew summer bar that was solid. Uh you're gonna have a crew summer and uh we, we send you uh invoice of twenty since since we just No, we send you an invoice since we just sold another twenty for you. Uh, that was solid, man. I, I felt Drake did well. Did well. I think the hardest lines in this round um, is really coming at somebody else. It's coming at Ye yourself. The whole, the first line is like, you, you're you coming at me for getting, uh, getting help on a couple of Vs. Well, that tells me right there that Drake at least officially admitted that he did have help on songs. He can't deny it. He did have writers. He, you know, he's admitting it there. But how you feel about the person that making your beats? So, um, but that's more of coming at Kanye. Like if Kanye says some shit about Drake, it's like you hypocrite. But Pusha never been accused of that. Pusha has a strong pen. That that's what his his strongest thing is. It's his pen. So, push. So that really doesn't hurt. Push. That's more of Kanye thing. That makes people want a Kanye response now. You know, uh, uh, it was hot. Uh, the Virgil line in the circle. Uh, again, that's that's. Connected more to Kanye and them lines like that, like how that situation with Ye and that makes it like hard coming at Ye. So I feel like this was two really good first rounds. I feel like I can't wait for round two. If I have to give it somebody, I I want to lead more towards push. I like that um that type of round more structure. I feel like the things he attacked Drake with first, uh, since this is the battle, they had like a little back and forth before, but this is the the first official round. He really didn't shut that down, you know, like, hey, man, like, your success reminds me of Trump, man, he had outside help from Russia, yeah, outside help for Quentin, and that's why I fuck with the codes of Drizzy's more, you know what I mean, you can't ever talk about my wrongs or things I did wrong in my life, because how you gonna talk about my wrongs, you, 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 you don't even, even write your fucking songs, how you gonna do that, you know, um, and you, even you come in at Kanye, hey, look, man, Everybody know your CEO was blinded, you know what I mean? Shit like that. And now y'all now everybody making fun of your CEO. And when I was doing it, you know, now I act like I killed the baby, but now it was all good. You know, Ross did it, it was pro, you know. Now he knows how I feel with wings on top. I mean, I said this shit. Signed to a nigga to sign to a nigga. Like I'm letting you know, like I've been talking this work. And Drake responds with like, you know, hey man, I'll talk to me when you get more money. <laughs> Tell me get more money because it's easy as ABCs. Even though there was some hot shit in here, I think the top five label shit is hot. Like I said, I, I just don't think it's true. Like I don't believe that, but I think that line is hot itself. Um, your brother 
that that was trying to come at his character because he said you act like you sold bricks and bricks and bricks this rap people do exaggerate I guess he's trying to play on that um, it's a smart angle I think some people are going to take that line harder than other people but I think it was cool it was nice it flowed well the Miles part well, I think was the hottest part of that seeing your cousin him to you and then leading that with the Miles bar I think that's what makes the bar really good really good the quitting thing that's coming at quitting then Lee quitting alone the hooks did it lyrics did it at least um kind of saying that no nah, that's not true my other shit did it not not him ring on you and i said well that, that was that was smart that was a nice line anybody would say that shit i would have got hyped for it and you older nigga you're running behind i feel like there's some good shit in here man i feel like i can see how people get the bait but i think the, the push thing was pinned it better i feel like it came out more fluent and i think push got this first round i can't wait for round two I can't, I can't wait for it. So who y'all got for the first round, man? Who you got for the first round? If somebody need to set this up, man. I need two more rounds. Stairs. Just, just set, set this shit up, man. Smack. Smack. URL. You know, you yo, set this shit up. Can't get a dot. Set this shit up. You know what I mean? RBE. Come on. Come on. I don't know where y'all getting all this bread from. Y'all got, come on. You already, you already got Mook on the card. King Los. Call Push. Call Push. Call Drake. Let's change the main event. Let's do this for the culture. <laughs> All right, that was my mom, friend. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.